Namaste. Sasrikal. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, everyone. Um, we are moving through the Navratri nine nights, ten days of um, Shakti energy, the creative force of the universe. And these nine nights, so on the day that we're teaching here live, this is the third. So this is the night of Chandraganta. Um, but in our practice, we did the first three nights in our first session um, under um, Durga. We had uh, Shalputri, Brahmacharani and Chandraganta. These devis, these manifestations of Durga. These now next three nights, we're going to dedicate to Lakshmi. Um, Lakshmi is the deity of compassion, of devotion, and um, through which we can build an abundance of spiritual and material um, wealth, the prosperity in which we can live in joy and happiness, in compassion, which leads us to liberation through that route. So we have the fearsome deity, Durga. <clears throat> then we have this abundance of compassion and love, uh, Lakshmi, for the second three nights. And then we'll do the third night at next time. And each day is also an incarnation of the deity. So the avatars of um, Durga in its many forms. So our practice will be inspired by Lakshmi. And we will be honouring um, uh, three devis or sort of the incarnations through, um, we'll be Kushmanda. Kushmanda is the cosmic egg. Kushmanda's energy is the warmth, the fire of the sun and how everything grows abundantly in the warmth of the sun, the warmth of love. And then we'll uh, also invoke Skandamata, the mother of um, the universe, the transformative creative energies represented by the mother or the birth giving parent um, and, and the protective qualities in which we protect the next generation, the descendants, the children. Um, and Skandamata holds a babe in arms with six heads, and each of those six heads represent a different chakra. So um, drawing upon the power of the chakras in order to protect in order to transform and change. And then we'll also draw upon the energies of Katia Ayani. Katia Ayani is the warrior, the fearsome invocation of Durga again. So we have these sort of gentler, but strong, powerful, subtle energies, and then these more direct, fierce energies. Um, and it's this weaving in between all of these other aspects of the creative force, um, which gives us the spark um, in life, gives us a spark in um, these moments of understanding what we do or need to do to move towards liberation. So that's thematic, thematically what we'll be drawing upon today. So let's come on to our seat, my friends, and let's bring the Kapita Hasta Mudra, which we met the other day. So curl in the middle ring a little finger, then bring the tip of the index to the top of the thumb, as if you're almost sort of holding something. This is the Kapita Hasta Mudra. And Lakshmi, Lakshmi, Lak. So the word that we use in English, Lak, is drawn down from Lakshmi, good fortune, prosperity. Closing your eyes or gazing softly down towards the earth. 
lengthening through the spine and tuning into the Anahata Chakra at the heart in which is rooted love, compassion, faith, devotion. Tuning into the breath as we breathe to and from the heart. The breath we'll be using today in our practice is Ujjayi breath. This constricted breath at the back of the throat. So slightly constrict the throat as if you are breathing on a mirror with your mouth closed. And there's a gentle sound on the inhale and the exhale. Ujjayi is victorious breath or ocean sounding breath. It's the breath that we drop into naturally as we move into sleep, as we withdraw from the external world and come into our, the safe haven of our restful state. Three more breaths like this. Ujjayi Pranayam. We'll open with Om and then our mantra for Mahalakshmi. We'll do call and response for that for the first round. Inhale fully. Exhale completely through open mouth. Making a sound. Hands at the heart in Namaskar. Actually, let's bring into Anjali. Anjali is different from Namaskar. Anjali has a sort of opening, a soft opening at the palm. I don't know if you can see there. As, as the seed, the budding seed of potentiality. Oh. 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 Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha Three times whispered Three times silently in the heart space. Fill the heart with joy, with love, with devotion. This devotional. Surrendering to the creative force of the universe that is within all of us, that is attainable by all. Opening your eyes, opening your Anjali Mudra into Padma Mudra, the lotus flower. So keep the little fingers close together, the thumbs close together, and open up the middle fingers. Gaze into the palm here. And we're going to do our lotus prayer wheel. So lotus prayer wheel, my friends, is we bring all the fingers together in Anjali, then turn the fingers down, keep the index tips and thumb tips together so you create this sort of triangle, downward pointing triangle. T 
turn the fingers in towards the heart, the backs of the hands come together, open the hands into a book, back into Padma. And we do this all the way up, above the crown. And then we cartwheel our hands all the way back to the heart. Let's do three cycles of this. And let's connect with either your own mantra in your home language or our mantra to Lakshmi. Focusing on drawing on this energy of the quality of compassionate love and fierce love. And how you can express that in your life, how you welcome that in your life, how you offer it up to others in your life. Om Shreem. Mahalakshmi ye swaha Om Shreem Mahalakshmi ye swaha Om Shreem Mahalakshmi ye swaha And then bringing the final round of the prayer wheel to the heart closing back into Anjali Inhale, reach up with Kapita Hasta Mudra. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Twice more in both directions. Flowing up through center and then down to each side in turn. And I can hear all my joints cracking here. I'm practicing here with life. In the morning so we might be our fascia might be a little dry hence all the sort of joints or the muscles all feeling a little tight first thing in the morning and then let's finish on the left back to center open out the arms wide hinge over to the right and then over to the left so sway here towards each side so loosening up the spine here, beginning to activate the Kundalini energy, the Shakti energy that runs through the subtle body. And then my friends reach up, hands come together in Anjali, and let's prayer wheel, Padma prayer wheel to the heart, the lotus prayer wheel to the heart. Take a moment here. Let's open out our legs. Um, slightly so uncross at the ankles bring the soles of the feet together tuck in the heels towards you so we come into Parvati Asana this Devi Asana of um, Padakanasana variation gently It looks like they might have connected to the iPad. My son. So fluttering here for a while just to begin to open up. Um, and now, my friends, we're going to move into Vajrasan. So this thunderbolt pose. Now, when you're sitting here, this can feel uncomfortable. Um, so roll up a blanket underneath the inside of your ankles. You can always place a folded blanket underneath the sit bones, underneath the knees, so that if your joints, either your ankles or your knees feel uncomfortable, those are options, try those out. If those don't work for you, come back into a seat on the earth in Sukhasan. Find what works for you, my friends. Let's bring our Padma, um, our Pan Anjali, at the heart, inhale, reach up with Padma, gentle back bend. Exhale, Anjali to the heart. Inhale, gentle back bend. Exhale, Anjali to the heart. Last time, reach up, gentle back bend. Hands to the heart. Place the left hand on the earth, bring the right hand into. Kapita Hasta and over to the left. Through center, over to the right. 
twice more in each direction, flowering here as you reach up. So we're using this flower pattern of breath that my teacher often talks about, the blossoming of the breath. And then when you've completed your next round, we'll reach up with both hands, exhale down to the earth, balasana. Eyebrow center rests on the earth or on a cushion or folded blanket. Knees can be together here, or you can open them up slightly and give room for the belly. Bend into your elbows, bring your prayer hands to the back of your head. Um, and rather than nam namaskaram, I'm going to have Anjali Mutra here with that soft opening at the palm. If your belly feels constricted, please create space for it. Release your hands to the earth. Walk your hands over to the left. Experiencing this lateral stretch along the right side of the abdomen. Inhale through center all the way over to the right, walking your hands across the mat. Back to center. Inhale, rise up on your knees, coming into Amrasan. Now bring your knees into alignment with your hips. Spread your fingers wide. Draw the navel in towards the spine. Take a moment here and then lift the tailbone. Dip the lower back, shine the heart, lift the gaze. So as we um, move through our practice today, let's cat cow cycle here, Marjriyasan, Vikliyasan, flowing and flexing through the spine, allowing that spinal wave to flow. This graceful movement through the spine. So Kushmanda, Devi Kushmanda, is the, the energy of the sun. Uh, Kushmanda sits on a tiger, has eight arms. Each arm carries uh, a tool with which to craft the universe. In Kushmanda, um, when we are devoted to Kushmanda or, or make puja or a ritual offering, we are connecting with the cycles of nature, the growth that we see in nature. As trees and plants reach up towards the sun, Coming to stillness, my friends. Let's bring our forearms onto the earth. Walk your hands away. We're moving into Anahatasana, melting heart pose. Here, my friends, options are to place your heart or eyebrow center on a cushion or a bolster. Have your arms wide. If it feels too um, intense, just reach both arms overhead, fold in one arm, and do Adda Anahatasana variation. And I'll tell you when to swap over if you're doing one arm extended, one arm folded. Breathe into the back of the heart space. Breathe into the side of the rib cage. Kushmanda is said to be the cosmic egg of the universe, the very um, seed of the universe from which all grows, from which all flourishes. If you have one arm extended, fold it in and then extend the opposite arm for balance. Om Shri Mahalakshmi Yeswaha. Three more breaths. 
And then my friends, slide your hands back towards you, bring your forearms onto the air and reach back with the legs long and bring the abdomen to the earth. So we come into Salamba, Bhujangasana, Sphinx pose. Lift the crown, open the heart, press into the big toes. Feet can be close together or wide apart, depending on how much space you wish to create for your lower back. Draw the ears away from the shoulders. Three breaths here. Expanding the heart space. Feel the connection from the root to the crown. The muladhar to sahasara. Exhale, low to the earth with your eyebrow center. Reach behind with your arms. Bring your hands into Kapita Hasta Mudra. We're going to move into Shalabhasana, locust pose, my friends. So let's lift the left leg first. Keep the arms lifted here. Lower the left leg. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, lower the right. Inhale, my friends, lift both legs. Keep your eyebrows central on the earth for the moment. Exhale, lower. Take a moment here. Now the next round, we're going to lift our eyebrows center, our heart space, our legs. Inhale, rise up. Inshallah, Bastan. Locust pose. Breathing here. You may gently be rocking here. As the breath rises, you may rise up. As the breath is released, you may lower. Ujjayi breath here. One more lift. Exhale, release everything to the earth. Fold in your arms. Bring your hands on top of each other underneath the eyebrow center. Let's rest here in Makrasan just for a moment. Friends, turn onto the right here. Your hands can stay where they are. My friends, turn on the right ear, arms alongside you if you wish. Let's take our Brahmri breath here, honeybee breath. Palms can be face up. If you have your palms face down, it sort of creates a little bit of tension in the shoulders. Inhale, Brahmri breath is honeybee breath. Reminds me of that lovely honey that my friend, our friend here sent me. Inhale through open, uh, through nostrils. Exhale through closed mouth, making a buzzing or humming sound. So the breath is coming out of the nose. Inhale again through the nose. Fill the lungs, exhale the breath, gradually releasing with a humming sound. One more breath. Turn the head to the center. Let's bring your hands alongside your head. Tuck in your elbows. And we're going to move into Bhujangasana. So slide your hands down. Lift the elbows so they are tucked into the ribs. Press into the big toes. Inhale to rise up in Bhujangasana. And here, my friends, let's sway. So you may look to your right. Look to your left. Mm -hmm. Sway, rising up like a cobra, lowering down to the earth. So a little bit of movement. Some of us may have more movement available here in our spine. Some of us may have less. And then let's lower to the earth, my friends. Bring your eye, your hands underneath your eyebrow center in Makrasan one more time to ease the lower back. 
release the arms alongside you, turn onto your left ear. And let's make the humming Brahmri breath here, Brahmri Pranyam, honeybee breath. Inhale through the nose. Mm. Inhale. Exhale, Brahmri. Mm. Inhale. Exhale, Brahmri. Mm. Release the breath. Bring your hands alongside you. Inhale. Let's rise up and go into wide-legged balasana just for a moment. Bring the toes to touch. Melt your sit bone back towards the heels. Arms wide open here. Taking up space. And rest here for just a moment. And then inhale, rise up, come onto your knees, back into Bhamarasana. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky, bend, keep a bend at the knee here. Draw that knee in towards the heart, tuck the chin. Reach up. Three times here. And then keep the leg where it is. Sweep the left hand back, Kapita Hasta Mudra, towards the foot. Perhaps you connect with the foot. That left arm is going back towards the right foot, my friend. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Step forward with the right foot by the right hand. And bring the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Coming into dragon. So let's come into dragon here. Keep that left knee lower, lowered. If you wish, you can come down onto your forearms. Pad that left knee if you wish. Let's move into skandamata. This transformative power, transformative strength of the creative force and the force um, by which there's a protective energy. Om Harim Shri Kushamanda Durga Ye Namaha. Om Harim Shri. Skanda Mata Durga Ye Namaha. Inhale, rise up here. Bend into that left knee. And my friends, reach back with the left hand towards the left foot. Now you may connect or you may reach back. If it feels too tricky, then bend the knee. Then bring the left hand back to the earth and sweep the right hand back towards the foot. Some of you may connect, some of you may be reaching back like I am. Exhale, bring the right hand back down to the earth. Exhale, sit bone back towards the left heel, extend through the right leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. And then roll back. Lift the left knee and pivot on the ball of the right foot. Come onto the left heel. It's a little bit of a scooting motion here, scooting motion. Come into Skandasana. So you may recognize this Skanda, Skandamata, Skandasana. And we often have this asana during our lunar practice. Bring the hands in Anjali at the heart or into Padma. 
You may come directly onto the earth here. If you have a wall behind you, you can use the wall to support you or fall into, as I just did. You can sit on a block. One more balance here. And then let's come onto the earth. Scoot all the way over to the left and come into Skandasana on this side. Extend throughout right leg. Again, you can sit directly on the earth. You can sit on a block or a low footstool. Anjali at the heart. And then Padma. Take your time, yeah. If you fall out, come back in, find your drishti, find something to focus on, on the horizon that's not moving. And now my friends, let's pivot on the ball of the left foot, come onto the ball of the right foot, bring that right knee to the earth, Coming into dragon on this side. The right toes can be tucked. The left hand here is on the inside of the left foot. Right toes tucked or untucked. You may come onto your forearms or stay up on your hands. You can bring blocks to the earth and place your hands on the blocks. Place a folded blanket underneath the right knee. Breathe into the left. So the reason we're practicing dragon is um, with Skandamata and this six-headed child. Each head represents um, each of the chakras. The chakra from the Muladhar to the Muladhar, Swadhisthan, Manipur, Anahata, Ishuddha, and Agni chakra. As we rise through to this. Um, asana we're in works on all of these chakras. Inhale, rise up onto your hands and bend into your right knee. You may reach back with your right hand towards that foot just for a moment here. I know this feels wobbly and off balance. And then release that and then reach back with the right hand again towards that left foot. You may make a connection or you may be reaching back. Bring that left hand forward, roll back onto that right knee to come into Ardha Hanumanasana. And then my friends back into Skandasana on the left side. Walk all the way over to the right side. So we're back where we started. And then back into a low lunge here. The ball of your foot, that left knee on or off, on or off the earth. Inhale to rise up into a high lunge. And Janiyasana here, Anjali at the heart. That's prayer wheel here all the way above the crown. Bring your hands into Kapita Hasta and bring the left hand to the back of the left leg and open up with the right hand, reaching overhead, a gentle back bend here. Exhale, let's bring the left hand up to the sky and bring the right hand to the back of the left leg. Let's cycle through this. 
three times in both um, in this rotation of left arm reaching up and then right arm reaching up. And then my friends, bring your hands together in lotus above the crown, prayer wheel to the heart. Straighten through that left leg, bring that left heel to the earth so that we move into our warrior pose. And you may want to bring your legs a little bit closer so they're not so distant. You may want to widen your stance on the width of your mat so you're ready for our warrior, great warrior pose. I'm just going to adjust myself here so I'm rested. I'm, re I'm steady and stable. Open out the arms. Inhale. Shanti warrior, the paritat. Spirabhadrasana. Slow like this three times. Feeling strong here. Engage the mula bandha by squeezing the pelvic floor. Engage the udhyana bandha by knitting in the ribs. Opening out into Mahavira Bhagavan, straighten through that right leg. Turn those right toes forward. And then let's bring our hands in Kapita Mudra towards the heart, bend into the knees. Udkata Konasana. And let's sway from left to right here. So this variation of like with our legs, almost like the skandasana. And extend your arms long, across, opening across the heart, as if you're pulling a thread, because we have our kapita hastamada here, as if you're for, uh, drawing apart a sutra, a thread, any color of your choosing. And then let's come back to center, my friends. Take a moment here. Open out the arms. Turn the right foot at a 45 degree angle. Bend into that left knee so you come into the great warrior onto this side, Mahavirabhadasana. Shanti warrior, right hand to the lower back. Left arm reaches over. Mahavira Bhadrasana. So set flowing in this way. And then my friends, let's pivot on that ball of the right foot. You might feel a bit wobbly like, oh, I said, I'm feeling really wobbly today. I'll tell you why. When you look outside my window, it's foggy. So it's a bit disorientating because you can't really see very much. Onto the ball of your right foot. Bring your hands in Anjali at the heart. Make sure you're feeling steady and stable here. So it might mean coming back to center and then realigning, grinding down through the feet, lengthening through the crown. Anjali at the heart. Prayer wheel overhead. Gentle back bend. Let's take the right hand to the back of the right leg, left hand reaches overhead, and kapita hasta. And then let's flow like this, each arm reaching up alternatively, and then each hand reaching the back of the right thigh. To feel steady here, keep reaching back to the heel of the right foot. Gazing up towards the sky, my friends. And then when we're ready, reach up with both arms, hands together. Prayer wheel, Padma Lotus to the heart, Anjali. And then bring your hands down to the earth. Take a moment here. And then let's skandasana here. And left. All the way to the right. 
And then let's move into our third deity, Katyayani. Katyayani. And this is the uh, more fearsome um, representation of Durga in which courage is being invoked. So we go through this cycle over these nine days of the compassionate and then the fierce and then the compassionate and the fierce and each time opening up the heart space. Low lunge onto the right side. Take a moment here and then let's lift that left knee. Rise up in warrior one. Bring your hands to the heart in Kapita Hasta. Reach up. Drop that left heel so you're in warrior one. Exhale. Let's bring the hands to the heart. Index fingers touching with Kapita Hasta. Left leg lifts up the, off the earth. Crown reaches forward. Warrior three. Exhale, bend into that left knee, bring the left foot to the right foot so you come to standing at the top of your mat. Quarter turn here. And we're going to move into um, so Parvati. So Durga and Parvati are all incarnations of the Shakti energy. And so we're going to come into a sort of Tandrasan variation. Let's step back with the right foot. Stay on the ball of the foot. Hands in Kapita Hasta at the heart. Open out the elbows. Inhale, reach up with the right arm to the sky, left arm reaching down, destroying a part of the thread. Bring the hands to the heart, bring the right foot in front, bend into the knees and open out to the other side. Back to the center, reach behind with that right leg. Left hand reaches down, right hand reaches up. So we're staying balanced on that left leg. And you can add a little bit of pace to this. One more time. And that left leg is gonna, is feeling it now, I'm sure of it. And then back to the center. And this time that right foot, bring it to the inside of your right thigh or right ankle. So we come into this tree variation, the chasana variation. Open out the arms, reach overhead, meet in lotus, Padma. I'm super wobbly today, my friend. Perfect practice. When you're super wobbly, do a practice that tests out your balance. because it's easy to stay in the comfort zone. Padma to the heart, reaching overhead. So remember before Vikshasana, your tree pose, your right foot can be on the earth with the heel resting on the left ankle or on the, the right foot resting on the lower leg. Take a moment here and then let's release that right leg to the earth. Shake it out. Om Harim Shri Katiyayani Durga Ye Namaha. Arms in Kapita Hasta, left foot goes behind. Open out. Bring that left foot in front. Bend into your knees as you 
move like this from left to right. And you can see the wobble is here with me today. Love the wobble. Play with it. So this is where the compassion and the fierceness comes together. The compassion to the self, to not judge oneself, but the fairness and the determination to keep, to persevere, to do the work it takes, but to be benevolent and generous with yourself. And then my friends, let's bring that left foot to the right ankle the shin or helping hand to the thigh. So we come into our rikshasana. Dristi. So this is it when you're not, when you're wobbling about, find your dristi, your focal point on the horizon, reach through your feet, lift the crown, keep your gaze focused. <laughs> Stability evades me today. Playfulness is at the heart of my practice. Unintentionally so, my friends. Open out the arms, your prayer wheel here. So there's a lot going on here. So you have to find a way of tuning into yourself, tuning into the movement, tuning into the breath, perhaps tuning out of my voice, tuning out of what might be distracting you around you, especially if there's movement in front of you, because it's very difficult to balance when there's uh, things happening around you. This is why it's really helpful to come to focus on one spot. And things may catch you in your peripheral vision, but keep returning to that one spot. And when you've completed your cycle, my friends, let's release that left foot, shake it out. I'm going to go back to the top of my mat. And then step across the mat, open out into asana. Bend into your knees, turn at your toes, come here into our Utkata Kanasana or Devi Asana. Bring the left forearm onto the left thigh and reach up and over. Om Shri Mahalakshmi Ye Swaha. So we're really creating a little space in the upper body. So we're creating abundance in the heart space here. Opening around the heart space, opening around the ribs. So the prosperity, the richness, the abundance, the wealth, the spiritual wealth, the wealth of love, the wealth of relationships can grow. And then back to center, my friends, straighten up through the legs. And let's step over to the left this time. And release the hands, turn to the back of your mat. Reach up, exhale. And fold down towards the earth. Step back with the right foot, step back with the Left foot, come onto your knees here. Take a moment here and let's cycle through Vitliyasan, Madriyasan. Giving us a different perspective. Coming into Anahatasana by bringing up. Elbows down towards the earth, either Ardha Anahatasana by having one arm folded and the other arm extended, 
by their center resting on the earth or on a cushion. It could be a cushion or a pillow of support underneath the heart. Let's take a Brahmi breath here. Inhale through your nose. Inhale. Inhale. If you have one arm extended, fold it in and extend the opposite arm. And let's take three Brahmi breaths here in your own time. Om Shri Mahalakshmi Yeswaha. Om Harim. Shri Kushmanda Durga Ye Namaha Om Harim Shri Sandamata Durga Ye Namaha Om Harim Shri Katyayani Durga Ye Namaha Invoking in this, these three nights the energy of Lakshmi and the representations of Durga through Kushmanda, Skandamata, and Katiyayani. Growth, the creative power of the universe itself, the transformative power of the universe, the courage, the warrior spirit that it takes to grow through change, to be strong, through change. From here, Anahata, my friends, let's come back into child's pose, create space for the belly, if you wish, by parting your knees slightly. And let's have the arms alongside the body, palms face up here. The cosmic egg. Three breaths, my friends. And then let's rise up into our Vajrasana, bring the knees together. Remember, you can fold up something on the inside of the ankles. Hands in Kapita Hasta at the heart. Sorry if you can hear sound in the background. Inhale, open out the arms, over to the left, through center, over to the right. Both directions, three times, flowing with an expanded, courageous heart. And then back to center. Come on to your sit bones. Let's come down onto the earth for our bridge pose, Sata Bandhasana. Bring the backs of the heels towards the fingertips. Press into the feet. Press into the palms. It's the upper arms and the forearms. And inhale, lift the pelvis and the lower back from the earth so that you are supporting yourself at the broadest part of your shoulders, the shoulder blades, the upper back. You can keep your hands on the earth where they are. You can come into a little scaffold by pressing into the forearms 
and bend them into the elbows. Here, my friends, let's come onto the balls of our feet. Lift one leg to the sky. Flex the foot. Turn the foot to the earth, come onto the ball of our foot. And then inhale, bend into the opposite knee and lift the left leg up to the sky. Keep pressing into the forearms or into your hands to help you lift up there. And let's bring the left foot down to the earth. One breath here, lift the hips and pelvis a little bit higher. And exhale, lower the heels and begin to uncurl the spine back onto the earth. Take a moment or two here to align. Extend the legs long. And let's come into Shavasana for a few moments here. Closing our eyes. Softening through all the joints. Now go up to the, the nine nights, the nine forms of Durga. Now Durga. Now An opportunity to channel the Shakti energy, the creative energy of the universe that is present within all of us, that is expressed in many forms, that help us to meet the challenges, to rise up to the challenges of life with compassion, with fierceness. with the capacity to find creative solutions, to navigate, to create relationships, to create opportunities, to create movements. Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Om Shri Mahalakshmi Swaha. Begin to Curl and uncurl your fingers and toes. Sway your head from left to right. Take a full breath and lift your arms overhead, stretching out here. And as you exhale, hug everything into a ball. Hugging your knees. Gently roll and your lower back from side to side. And roll over onto your left side. Rest there for a moment. And then when you're ready, rise up into your Sukhasana. Keep your eyes closed.
Rub your palms together to create the warmth of the sun, the heat of the sun, the creative power of the sun. And then place your palms over your eyes. Open your eyes into the palms. Absorb the warmth. And then slowly draw your hands down the face, letting in the light. Closing our time together by chanting Om Shanti three times. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Vinyavad, my friends, Vinyavad. He knows when practice is over. Whenever I say Om Shanti, he's like, yeah, mommy's finished her yoga. Now I can get some attention. Thank you, my friends. See you all soon.